Hey there planners, today I am walking through some updates and changes I've made to my reference notebook system. As you know, I have been using a traveler's notebook stuck in the back of my planner um, for my reference items. I have found this to get a little too fat to use regularly and have switched over to a ring binder system, more like a home management system. I'm going to be walking through this, how I'm using it, and what's in it. So go grab your planners and let's get started. As you all know, this has been my reference planner since uh, late last year, and it is great. I love the size, you know, how slim it is, the fact that it fits right in the back of my uh, planner cover where my bullet journal is. However, the problem is, as you can see, this little baby is getting really fat, and it is actually hindering my ability to write in my bullet journal and I just realized you know what there's too much reference information for me to stick in a smaller reference notebook like this and so I bit the bullet and went ahead and transitioned over to a ring binder for um, my reference planner system. This is actually from Carpe Diem. It is a planner binder, ring planner binder that I had de-ringed and now have re-ringed, which that's a whole nother story, but it was actually very simple. I just broke out some, uh, some super glue and it was pretty easy to put back together. Now, as you can see, I don't have any decoration in here. Um, I'm keeping this pretty functional. I have repurposed a bunch of uh, Avery tabs and um, dividers that came with this Carpe Diem planner. And today I'm just gonna walk through what I'm keeping in here because I really have expanded what's in my reference uh, notebook for, for go going forward now that I have more space. Okay, so in the front section of this reference notebook, I keep blank notes paper, all different kinds of notes paper. All of the inserts in here I have punched and then cut so they can easily come in and out without me having to open up the rings. And that's important because rings, binders, um, the more you open and close them, the more wear and tear they get and the easier they are to get misaligned. And so I really wanted to avoid having to open and close the rings at all. And so everything in this planner binder is um, cut that way. So I've just got some, um, I'll, I'll talk about where all of these items come from, but you can find all of the free printables that I use in a video that I made on my favorite free printables, and I'll have that listed in the description box below. Um, this is from Printables and Inspirations. It's a notes page. This is actually a notes page that I made. I pulled off some images from Pixabay and put them on, um, on a blank Word document and then just printed it out in A5 size. Same thing with this. Um, this is from Emily Lay. Um, great little notes page when you want to kind of capture ideas and sections. It's good for mind mapping. And so you can see I've just got a bunch of different ways to capture um, notes, ideas, brain dumps, to-do list, things like that, because I can come here and grab a sheet very quickly when I'm working in my reference notebook. I made this to-do list, different form of to-do list, and then project planning, brain dumping, um, and then great ideas to conquer the world because occasionally I do have those. So that's the first section, just blank note pages. I certainly have more note pages that I can pull from when I'm using these, uh, but it's great to have quick reference to those. This next section is my planning section. And so I've actually got my future log plugged in here with um, all of the future dates all the way out to 2022. I went ahead and printed uh, 2022 and so that's in here. This is something that I reference when I'm setting up new months in my bullet journal so I needed a place to keep this that it could be handy um, and I went ahead and went all the way out through 2022. These are, um, I made these myself just using the calendars and you know highlights and I put it in a Word document um, and printed it in A5 size. I've got a year of celebration so this goes all the way through um, what happens each month. This is a printable from Cultivate What Matters. I've got my monthly and daily bullet journal set up, my quarterly, monthly, weekly, and daily task, and then I've got my brain dump 
uh, triggers list. This is a brain dump triggers list that I made. And if you're interested in getting a version of this, this just helps you think of all the things you would want to get out of your head when you're setting up your planner, either during a weekly review or a monthly review or um, even sometimes daily. Um, I actually have a copy of this file in the Planning Annie Facebook group that's linked down in the description box below. It's free. Um, I made it myself, so you know, you're know you more than welcome to use this to get more ideas from. This is a brain dump trigger list from empowerproductivity.com. Um, it has some overlapping items, but then they just ask questions in different ways, so I like to have this here as well. This is a list of some of the places that I get free printables from with their passwords. I have the passwords covered up here. Um, and then I have um, from Day Designer a thank you note record log, which I think is really handy. A lot of this stuff you'll see in the rest of the planner I haven't really started using yet because I've just recently set this up and I wanted to film this video before I really got a bunch of personal information in here. Here's a list of anniversary gifts by year. What is the traditional gift, the modern gift, the flower, and the gym? I don't even know where. I think this came from Pinterest, um, but I, I love this. This is a great reference. 30-day um, emergency supply list. Uh, this is from um, Home Storage Solutions 101, um, and this is a really great reference. Uh, All About Planners has a lot of great free printables, so 50 reminders to add to your planner. 86 list for the planner is obsessed. I love list of list. Um, that's how you know you're a type A. This comes from Day Designer. And then I've got some templates. So a wish list for myself, um, two pages for that, some planner inventory, my favorite planner shops, um, and then a planner wish list. So that is that section. This is really the functional planning section. This next section is all about food. So I have a master grocery shopping list from Day Designer. I've got recipes to try. This template comes from all about um, comes from all about the house. It was a free printable. These are uh, go-to meals that do not require a recipe. So if I need something quick, this is from Emily Lay. Um, and then I made this template. I will fill this out with where are the places that we order food regularly and what is the food we like. So we tend to always lose the menus. Um, and so I like to have that reference here. I've got some kitchen staples from uh, Scattered Squirrel. Um, kitchen measurements, just a cheat sheet here. Um, this is an interesting template for a cooking plan. This comes from Scattered Squirrel, and it's great. I can see myself using this for, like, holidays when I have guests. Um, go ahead and putting a cooking plan together. I took this and turned it into, this is from Organized Home, I turned it into a spice inventory. It was originally listed as a pantry inventory, but I just put this um, label on there. I do want to create a spice inventory because it's not something you buy all the time, but it is good to keep up with what you have. Dinner ideas broken into categories, Italian, Mexican, crock pot, casseroles, quick meals, Sunday favorites, things like that. Um, and then I have a section of seasonal foods by month um, and what's in season, fruits and vegetables. So that's really handy to reference when we want to try to eat seasonal foods. So that's meal planning, meals, that whole section. This next section is important information about the house, key contacts, things like that, home maintenance task list. Uh, account information. Uh, these are really good templates. Um, important contacts. A lot of this comes from Scattered Squirrel. I've actually started filling out some of this and just covered it up. Um, home and family contacts. So what are our service providers um, and information about them. Uh, and then I've also got some password keepers in here and I won't go through that because I have started using some of that. Um, so password keepers and um, I've got vehicle information in here. So each of our vehicles with driver's license numbers, insurance information, VIN numbers, all of that stuff is in here. Um, a tracker for home and family task. 
And then another password tracker that I just have not transferred the information into the new template yet. So that is that section. All right, this next section is all about family members and I start with my puppy. I haven't updated this information yet, but this is great for like vet, emergency vet, pet insurance, microchip, border kennel, all of that stuff. I've got mom's back to school checklist, which I thought was a really cool uh, checklist that comes from Scattered Squirrel. And then just back to school information, supplies that we have to get, um, date night bucket list. And then I've got some information covered up here. Um, this is school information for my daughter's school, um, a printout that they give, and then I've got my all about family member sections. And so these are pages devoted to each of my family members and myself that covers social security number, um, you know, email address, phone number, primary doctors, eye doctors, all of that stuff for each family member. I've even got information on the backside like clothing sizes, favorite foods, foods they don't like, hobbies, um, major interests, all of that stuff. I've even got my daughter's school schedules plugged in here um, so that I can quickly see what classes they have and at what time uh, in case I'm scheduling a doctor's appointment and I don't, I want to avoid overlap with a specific class. The next section is really going to be all about me. Um, and so I've got like, you know, 50 practices for living a well-designed life. This is from Day Designer. Uh, this is from Emily Lay, uh, kind of talking about what is the good life, uh, books to read, movies to watch, core elements worksheet. This is really cool. This is from Day Designer. I haven't done this yet, but it talks about your passion, your values, your strengths, um, and then intentional living worksheet. Uh, my legacy, this comes from Cultivate What Matters. If you are um, a PowerSheets user, you have access to that. Scattered Squirrel, these are all about habits. Um, daily Rhythms from um, PowerSheets. A fun list from PowerSheets. And then more from Scattered Squirrel. This is what do you want to focus on? Why are you choosing this? It's sort of goal setting. Uh, templates and then 31 days to reclaim your life. So I love these these kind of things. I've got another wish list here, a reading list, um, and then some routines, skincare, and makeup inventory, which I can come in here and add to it. This next section is about spending, and you'll see there's not a lot in here because most of the spending and expense tracking uh, we do in another format in our house. Um, my husband handles most of that online. He's got templates and uh, spreadsheets and things like that he uses, but I do like to keep some things in here like online shopping records and um, spending trackers, particularly when we're doing a no spend, which we just recently did, um, spending log and uh, debt payment calculators, uh, things like that. So just a little bit of information in there, but you could certainly expand it. There are lots of free printables available for that. All right, this next section is all about health and wellness. And so I started with striking a balance. This is from Emily Lay. I love this hard work versus rest, writing versus reading, labor versus sleep, and just a great reminder to ground yourself and how to make that balance happen in your life. I've got a cycle tracker here. I've got a, a place to capture medical insurance information for medical vision and dental. I've got update uh, upcoming medical appointments and kind of questions to ask, notes from the visits, any tests and test results and follow-up items. Um, this is something I will use as we're getting ready for a doctor's appointment. So for example, my annual physical, I will come in here and kind of prep with making sure as I think of things that I want to talk to my doctor about or my uh, kids doctors about that I am prepping for that and have that ready to go. I actually made this um, in a word template. It's um, very easy to, to set up. So I've got several of those in here. Um, medicine tracker, you know, who's taking what medicine, what for, what are the doses and what are the dates. I've got a place to capture my annual detox. I try to do a, a, a food detox about once a year um, and I do follow a process for that. So I want to come in here and kind of capture that process. And then uh, as part of my power sheets goals, I did have a goal to come up with a healthy habits list for emotional, physical and mental. Um, so I've captured that here so I can always come back and reference it. 
Um, I love this printable from Day Designer, Favorite Ways to Treat Yourself, um, Recharge Yourself, so some ideas there to pull from, Self-Care Habits from Day Designer, and then uh, Self-Care Habits from Cultivate What Matters, and then I've just got a lot of medical-themed note pages, uh, and so these are great to have, you know, coming out of a doctor's office or just to take notes on anything. All right, this last, last section is all about travel. I've got a travel bucket list. I've got a printable for, for Oh, the places I've been and then actually uh, being able to color in all the states I've been to um, I've got my ultimate packing list which again this is another one that if you are interested in getting the ultimate packing list which really does have everything you should ever need to pack um, this is like the list you use if you're going away for two years somewhere um, but it is handy to have everything and then you can pick and choose what applies um, but this is something I make available on the planning Annie uh, Facebook group if you want to come get a copy of that and you can tailor it to your own needs. Um, here's another packing list from Day Designer, a vacation planner, places to go and see, travel planning from All About Planners, and that brings us to the end of the reference binder. So you can see um, there's a ton of stuff in here, way more than I had included in my um, original version of my reference planner, but I think this is going to be great. Now this is not something that would go anywhere. This stays at home on my desk, you know, ready to use and to reference as I need information. Um, and, and this is just a much better format I'm finding for all, keeping all of that information that I need to have access to. I'm looking forward to being able to um, add things to it and fill out the templates that I've that I've been able to locate. And again, everything in here is free. Everything I either made or was able to find online for free. And so free is always awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video and the review of the reference planner update. If so, give me a thumbs up and let me know. I would love to hear from you what's in your reference planner. Um, have you made changes to your reference notebook lately? And are you even using a reference planner? Is that something that you, um, is this stuff that you capture some other way? I would love to hear that in the comments down below. Subscribe to Plan and Annie for more content like this. And as always, thanks for planning with me.